face. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Emmanuel. Its six month mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out the wonders of God's creation, to boldly go where no man has gone before.
have seen planets larger than our whole solar system. We have seen nebulous that remind us of the scripture. When we look at your sun and your moon, what is man that you are mindful of him? But due to some navigational difficulties, <laughs> we have yet to return to Earth. Even though we had not expected to stay in space this long, tonight we celebrate Christmas Eve and tomorrow the birth of Christ. Info. Status report on Christmas plans. Look, we're decorating. The crew members have found a way to decorate using various <laughs> items around the ship. Decorating? We didn't bring any decorations, did we, Zip? Nope, Captain, but that isn't stopping us. Making our own Christmas decorations. See, Captain? This is a ball from the broken raft Agar Mount. What? Okay. <laughs> that? Yeah. Tinsel? Where'd you get tinsel? It's not tinsel. It's the electrical cable that got zapped in the meter store. <laughs> and what about there, Sparky? That's a miniature Christmas tree. Wow. Wow, that's nice. That um, Christmas tree looks familiar. Where did you get that Christmas tree? It was in a big metal can down in the environmental bay. Was that can yellow with red letters on it that said, do not touch air supply? And it was. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sparky, that's our breathing filter. We can't survive a day without it. Oh, should I put it back then? <laughs> I would say. I remember being eager to ask Sparky. Sometime today would be good. You legs have no Christmas chair. Info, <laughs> back to those decorating plans. The Christmas decorations are going up. The hot chocolate is just about ready. And we're going caroling through decks 25 through 129 at 1900 hours. And the nativity scene? We'll try it, Captain, but it's not as easy as Christmas decorations. <laughs> Shit from going straight. 
นะคะก็ให้ทุกคนติดตามกันมาสำหรับอีวันวันเดียวกันเซอร์ดีนาก
This information is not in my database. I'm afraid, computer, that has to do with some bad programming. <laughs> we have some great computers, but the most important information is found right here. This is the Word of God.
Info, status report. Captain, we're orbiting the Earth. <laughs> All right. Woo -hoo. It may be Earth, but what year? When is it? I'm sure about where we are. Just not sure about the when. <laughs> Captain, our sensors detect there's people in the area we honed in on. Hmm, Sparky, where are we? When are we? Turn on the, turn on, get a audio feed so that we can decipher who's down there. Those look like shepherds. We are in orbit over the hills of Bethlehem. The home appears to be just before the birth of Christ. We skipped right over Galilee and went straight to Bethlehem. Be prepared. The Son of God is about to be born as a baby, and the first ones who will know are the shepherds. Well, according to Luke, the Bible says that there were shepherds abiding in their fields by night, keeping watch over their flocks. The angel appeared of the, the angel of the Lord appeared, and the glory of God shone around, and they were terrified. It's night in Bethlehem right now. The angels could appear at any moment. Should we sit down, Papa? Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to interfere in any way. It's amazingly quiet. Does anybody else hear something? The shepherds are looking down. Will they see us? It's impossible for them to see us, but they seem to be looking at something. Whoa! Uh, what's that? Large. Captain. The wavelength of the light radiation we are detecting is unlike anything in our database. I believe we are witnessing the appearance of angelic beings. Angels? Thousands of them! <laughs>
the birth of Jesus, the very Son of God, Navigate to the star of Bethlehem. Oh, that would be 
incurable. The one who suffered Jesus on the baby Jesus? Yes, exactly. That star would have created a huge light 2,000 years ago, sparking. Scan for remnants from that energy. <clears throat> Mr. Polo, program these, the computer with these two coordinates. All right, Jack. Matthew 2. <coughs> Matthew? Is that between Genesis and Revelation? Yes. <laughs> it, um, it starts with an M. <coughs> After Matthew 1, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. All right, Jack. Um, and also Luke 2. Matthew 2. Luke what? 2. That's 1, 2. Okay, and that's, uh, again, that's between Genesis and Revelation. Right? Again, okay. again, <coughs> the same, yes. Luke, Luke 2, okay, Captain. In the Bible. All right, we All got, right. we got a destination, we got a plan, and we're ready to proceed. Good. Auto. Send us.
did you get back on the ship? <laughs> well, um, man, you know, you, I just don't dig. You revved up your hot rod, and I blinked, and then I saw green, and I just like, I just ran through the gardens, and here I am.
Yes, we do. What? Where are we? We're in Bethlehem. See? Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, sir. Oh. What year is it? 1741, of course. We're way off. You're our first visitors. Today, Christmas Eve, 1741, we founded our own town. It's named after the Savior, and we're relieving the night of his birth to remember what he's done for us. Join us good night. Uh -huh. Very well. So, this isn't the real Bethlehem. And this is 1741. So we missed it. We were right there, ready to worship the real baby Jesus. After crisscrossing the universe, documenting the glory of God, we missed the biggest moment of all. Not so fast, Info. I don't think we missed anything. Just look at what we just witnessed. Robot. Exactly how far away are we from That's right. And yet, on the other side of the world, centuries later, the good news of Jesus Christ is still being spread throughout the world. That's right, Mr. Polo. Plot is, of course, for home. Zip, beam us up to the ship so that we can go and spread the good news.
just like I told you, we're all going to be home for Christmas. First, first, <laughs> we got oh, oh. oh my goodness. What is he doing here? <laughs> first, we gotta hit the 1950s and then make a quick left at the 1860s so that Mr. Lincoln can back, get back home. All right, Captain. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry